Every bride dreams of the perfect wedding day. But for a $5,000 budget boost, would she hand over the planning to her groom? If she's ready and willing to throw the dice, then it's I do. But at what price? That's it. I've decided we're just going with this idea. Like, you guys have no creative vision, do you? I, I just don't feel like you have your priorities in check. You way underspend on the flowers, yet these special touches, you went over budget. What's, what's more important than the dress at the wedding? Uh, everything else? No, 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 nothing else. I'm just trying to keep to a budget. Like, you did the very best you could in, in the venue, you did the best you could in the dress. Does she like the dress? You did your best. That's all I can say. Weddings are a groom whose mind is set. Weddings are a bride who likes to bet. Weddings are surprises you ain't seen yet. Meet newlyweds Carla and Cheo. They accepted an extra $5,000 toward the planning of their wedding. In exchange for the money, Carla must agree to give her techie groom complete control over the wedding plans. Will Carla regret her brave decision, or will Cheo deliver a wedding that will light up Carla's heart? My name is Cheo. I'm a 30-year-old web designer and tech nerd. I met Carla, an advertising associate, five years ago through a social networking site. After the best date of my life, I knew I had met my quirky soulmate. This is a story of how I planned our techie-themed wedding. I'm agreeing to let Cheo plan the entire wedding because I think it's fun to be completely surprised to walk into my wedding and have no idea what to expect. It's almost exhilarating. Wedding planning is simple. It all comes down to making a decision, and Carla can't make one at all. My wedding plan will be simple and cost-effective. No getting wrapped up in the details. It just gets done and on budget. Our wedding day was absolutely perfect. The weather was beautiful, everything was well-planned, and may I say, well-executed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, way to make our wedding day sound so romantic. Yeah, it was that too. <laughs> Romance is an essential element to a wedding, so it remains to be seen if Cheo's brainy plans also have heart. Planning this wedding on my own was a no-brainer, but I can see the benefit of having a professional like David help take me through the steps. <laughs> I was very relieved to know that Cheo would have David backing him up. I didn't need backup. Oh, he didn't need backup. Meet wedding planner David Connolly. With his nine years of experience, he is helping groom Cheo execute his vision while trying to keep the budget on track. My role as a wedding planner is to take the groom's dream and put it through my filter of experience and knowledge and resources, and hopefully do all that on budget without manipulating that original plan. Congratulations, you guys. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Two people are gonna do their thing. So talk to me about why you decided for a $5,000 budget boost to give over all control. I'm very indecisive, I'll admit that. And I think it'll be uh, interesting on my wedding day to just be surprised, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> How many guests? 150, 160? Yeah. Yep, but 160. Okay, perfect. What about your bridal party? We have five groomsmen and four bridesmaids. Now, more than usual, we will be counting on those guys to do more than they normally would because it's usually the bridesmaids. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Not wonderful? I just hope his sister um, puts her two cents in a lot. This is going to be exciting, <laughs> slash a little bit scary. So we're going to get on a learning curve. Great. And we're going to ask you to please leave the room so that we can have some boy talk. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> My ideal wedding would be very playful, fun, colorful, you know, not your typical wedding. Um, I see lots of hearts, balloons, bubbles, rainbows, just random fun stuff. Um, but my ideas change by the minute, so ask me in an hour, it'd be something totally different. <laughs> okay, All Mr. Right. I haven't planned a wedding before. I have. This is the beginning of a list of things we have to talk about today. How do you feel? A little overwhelmed. <laughs> That's a good thing. That makes me feel really good. Talk to me about the vision. I'm a do-it-yourselfer type of guy. Very creative, so I want to definitely incorporate a lot of custom things. I definitely want it to be fun. A little untraditional, a little unconventional. Uh, venue? Oh, the venue is beautiful. It's on the water. Mm. We'll have the ceremony outdoors, so it's like a two-for-one deal. Okay. Hopefully in cost as well. <laughs> Talk to me about decor. Techie. DIY, fun gizmo things in there. Okay. I really want to put my personal touch on anything I really can. Yes, Cheo. Nothing says personal touch like a techie gizmo. 
What about the flowers? I was thinking of maybe doing a little DIY. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I can find the materials, I can really do a superb job for a really, really good price. Need to know basis. It doesn't sound like there's gonna be a lot of traditional things going on though, no? Definitely not. Awesome. Speaking of traditional, what about the dress? I have this friend who's a costume designer, so I have that whole angle covered. He's going to... Design a dress. Build it? Gonna build a dress from scratch. All right. Again, taking conventional and standard yeah. and adding my personal touch to it. Is there anything that I don't know about? Any special additions? I guess special touches, techie things, uh, gizmos, gadgets. How are they involved? Or... My groom camp, for instance. I'm gonna actually be having a camera mounted to my lapel. Um, I also wanna mount webcams so we can stream the wedding live. Something tells me that the equipment for streaming might require some serious cash flow, Cheo. Okay. It's gonna be fun stuff. Have you ever done this before? I have. Awesome. Then let's um, get to your other half in here. Carla! I want to create an unusual and unforgettable wedding without blowing the budget. I'm a big robot, so I love gizmos and gadgets, and I want them to be a huge part of my wedding. I have a general consensus of what the vision is, but now we have to see if we have enough money to make that vision happen. Who's better with money? I would say I would be, especially when it comes to budgeting things. Who's paying? Uh, we're paying. So now we just find out if the budget you've come up with matches your vision. <laughs> and you won't know because you don't know what the vision is. Will this budget work with the groom's vision or will it cost him in the end? And of course, we're adding the $5,000 budget boost to this. Little surprise for you, Miss Carla. We've got a little table of choices for you. You pick one of those cars, turn it over, and it will, ah, da, da, da. This is Carla's only domain, so mm -hmm. let her enjoy it. Whatever you pick, you don't have anything to do with. Okay, um, I'm gonna go for this one. Ooh. Coming up. So what if you just take from your other things and put it into the dress? But then I'm gonna be losing out on a lot of things. I wanna give Carla everything. I didn't have a spreadsheet for the wedding in terms of our budget. I just winged it. That's right, we winged it. We're still winging it. <laughs> Carla and Cheo are soon to be married, and to help offset the costs, they've accepted an extra $5,000. But to get the cash, Cheo must plan the whole wedding himself. His high-tech ideas may not suit his free-spirited bride, Carla, but at least she has a say over one item. Ooh, entertainment. I have such plans for that. Mm, not anymore. <laughs> Cheo may have to nick some plans, but he still has domain over the day. Will his vision for a wired wedding connect with Carla, or will she pull the plug? When it came to the bouquets and boutonnieres, I wanted to keep it cheap and easy. So I brought my sister Ayan and David along to help me out. <laughs> see what we got. Pantyhose. I know what we don't oh. got. We don't got flowers. What else do we have there? Um. Pipe cleaners? Pipe cleaners, feathers. Flowers? Oh, oh here it is. Jail, what? you said we were coming to get flowers. Oh, we're coming to get stuff to make flowers. Oh. It's a creative side, right? Oh, OK. <laughs> I so don't get it. Do you get it? You don't get it. OK, look. Oh, she doesn't get it. So that makes me feel better. We're basically making a bouquet. I'm going to cut this into a small foam block. Then we're going to roll some of the pipe cleaners, mount them to the top. Roll them? Yeah. And then we're mounting. So it makes like a? It makes like a little spike, like a spring. A spring? This is probably not the kind of spring flowers Carla had in mind. It's gonna have feathers underneath it. Come on! I don't get it. And I'm a smart person, so can you just show me? Well, we please? can't just do it here. Why I'll not? show you when we get back. Why, why, can't we why not? <laughs> because we don't own these. <clears throat> no, we don't. <laughs> <clears throat> go ahead. Really? Like right here? Let's go, sir. Come on. Okay, okay. Here, here, here. I'm good for the dollar. Let's do this super quick. Seriously, it doesn't take that long. Look, boom, boom. Really? Check it out. And then we just create a deep, rich... They look like antenna. ...of this. A bouquet of antennas. Now that's commitment to a theme, Cheo. Cheo. Of? Have you ever seen anything like this before? No, I haven't. Aha! What does that prove? Nothing. It proves that maybe people don't think springs maybe made don't it. people don't think like I do. Cheo, why can't we just, you know, buy real flowers? Like, a real wedding? Uh, because I don't want to spend, like, real money on real flowers, because it's going to cost way too much, and this is a million times better. 
could we compromise a little and get real flowers just for Carla's bouquet? Mm. No. Why not? Because... That makes you feel like she's special. Why spend money when I don't have to? That's, that's the point. And come up with something creative, original, and untraditional. Then how about while we're doing all this time-consuming awesome stuff, we uh, put some flowers on back, back order? Yes, good idea. I put flowers on hold, on standby, in case this all goes left. Nope, that's it. I've decided we're just going with this idea. Like, you guys have no creative vision, do you? I don't get it. I really don't get it. No creative vision? Did he just accuse me of not having creative vision? He just talked about using pipe cleaners to make flowers, and we don't have no creative vision. I give up. No, you can't give up. You can't give up. I really wanted to make sure that there were elements of the decor that really reflected me at our wedding. Uh, how about really reflected me? Hi, the bride? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that you really cared about decor. I had no idea you cared about decor. Are you ready? I'm always ready for you too. I'm Another looking all over. Fabulous adventure. All over for something. For something for somebody's birthday party who's nope. five. Actually. Or, look, there's magnetic. For robots. You scare me. Those are toys. <laughs> Those are tin. Okay, let me break it down for you. Break it down for me. I'm a big robot. I like tech. Yes but I also like eccentric, classic things. And this is one of those things. I'm fairly certain those words don't usually describe the same object. This isn't just like a, a tech kind of... No, it's not. It's, it's not adding technology to a wedding. It's not just technology to a wedding. It's actually... Excuse me, it's choking me up. ...robotics just the as well to it. Hey, Cheo. <laughs> this is my ballerina friend, and this is my princess friend. And we think that we should go now, because we're afraid that you're going to spend money on tin toys. OK, check it out. I want to put these as our centerpieces, or with our hey, centerpieces. Hey, Cheo, we got to go, because you're crazy. Ooh, taking my princess with me. What? Seriously. OK, seriously. Seriously. You're going to put yeah. these on tables. This is not a centerpiece. I know it's not. But I don't think you'd find many people who would look at that and go, ah, I know what that is. That's it's not a traditional reason. wedding. What's the point? OK. <laughs> I'm fine, okay. dude. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm fine. not convinced. It's, it's different. It's eccentric. It's, it's okay. classic. Anybody who's anybody will know what this is, and they'll know that this represents me. Come on. Oh, I think we all know it's a robot. We're just not certain it's a centerpiece. How about um, we get out of it another way, and you tell me how much have you budgeted for toy decor robots? Uh... Well, I haven't. Like, all the DIY stuff that I'm doing is going to save me a lot of money for the stuff that I want to spend money on. And I really want these. This is $20. OK. How many do you want? I mean, maybe about 30 of them. That's $600. Pretend I'm a table. OK. And they're on every table. So you're saying, like, what, 10, 15? 10 would be awesome. Because then you wouldn't put them on the tables at all. You could just put them on, like, like around. Yes, Cheo. Around and away from the center of your tables. I don't know. They could go on the head table. They could go on the receiving table. Well, that's like the, the plan. That's table. why I wanted some of them on those tables as well. Yeah, but that's all you need. OK. Yes. I'll sleep on it. You'll sleep on it. And I'll get back to you? Robot man. Oh, when we shake hands, I oh, turn into a er, 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 er. Can I have this? No, put it away. Please. You got to go. It's mint. You're like a kid in a candy store. Let's get out of here. I'm a kid in a toy store. Can I have this? <laughs> Carla and I have this really good friend who designs costumes for big theatrical productions. So naturally, who better than to design Carla's dress? My sister Ayan and I went to go meet with him and his partner at a fabric store just to check out some dress options. What's going on? What do you got for me? Um, OK. Come, come to the table. All right. Uh, well, here I have some ideas for you, so. Do I get to choose? So a lot of different looks. And I wasn't really sure where you were going to go with it, but mm -hmm. um, you kind of locked it down with a, with a couple of them. I definitely like that. I think that was really amazing. Oh. <laughs> I love, I love that one. So this is all crystal? Not crystals, like pieces of glass. Okay. Something like that, that kind of poofs out mm -hmm. as well. I like that one. I think this one is it, it's very car-like. <laughs> How much would this one cost? Um, that one with labor and material, it could be probably around $3,000. <laughs> $3,000? Well, this one is more affordable. That one could be 1500 I should have given you the budget before. I just <laughs> gave you an idea and let you run with it. <laughs> Maybe you should just give well, him some more money. The sketches might have been more. simpler. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important to me that Cheo picks something I love. I mean, it's my wedding dress. I want to feel beautiful and, and special in it. I just hope he doesn't cheap out on it. I mean, this is my wedding dress, you know? 
And how, how, how much is your budget? $500. For a wedding dress. <laughs> That's the budget that, I, that's the budget that I've allotted. So you're going to wrap I'm... her in fabric, <laughs> basically, and just have her walk down the aisle to what's, the wedding. What's more important than the dress at the wedding? Uh, everything else? No, 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 nothing else. I'm just trying to keep to a budget. Because you and Carla are my, my friends. I'm going to give you my labor for free. Free? Does he know anyone who makes robots? OK, let's forget money for a second. OK. Which dress or dresses? <laughs> Stop. No, it shouldn't be that hard. We're talking about Carla, so think Carla, don't think money. This is all about look now. Not really feeling that of one. Of course, the most expensive one. I like, I like these two. If you ask me what my favorite one would be. Yes. See how much, let's work with those two now. Okay. How much easier is that? Um, I'm gonna have to say I'll go with this one. I really like the style. I definitely like the A-line cut. This would definitely look good on her. Can you kind of guesstimate the price alone on fabric? Without labor, probably around uh, 800, 900. Did your jaw drop? Why? What's going on? I'm just trying to keep a budget in mind. It's her dress, the dress. I'm, I'm giving you free labor. I know, but I don't want to spend this much money. I have other things. So what if I'm... you just take from your other things and put it into the dress? But then I'm going to be losing out on a lot of things. I want to give Carla everything. You're being nuts. You're what? getting You're getting labor for free. Unheard of, impossible, not going to happen anywhere else. You have to remember just, like, what kind of deal that you're getting here. So you're agreeing to this? Yes? Just say yes. Just say yes. Don't, okay. don't say yes. No, don't say think yes. about it anymore. You can just the There we go. Yay! Yeah, all right. Coming up, we're going with these five cameras. I can't believe it, but yes. No, no, it wasn't a question. We're going with these five cameras. I can't believe it, but yes. We had a walking wedding. We yeah. could walk from the church to the photos, from the photos to the reception, from the reception to the house, and we got the guests to carry the gifts. It was great. Our groom Cheo has begun making plans for the perfect wedding day to his bride, Carla. His high-tech, low-budget approach has led him to spend more on toys and less on Carla's dress. With labor and material, it could be probably around $3,000. <laughs> $3,000? Well, will Carla forgive Cheo's skewed spending, or will she regret giving her groom free reign? I needed help from my sister, Ayanne, and my buddy, Dean, to help with the centerpieces. I didn't know you cared so much about the centerpieces. Look. I cared more about the budget. Ah, now that's Cheo. You're gonna be working on the centerpieces. Basically, my vision is, I want sand in here, I want the glitter, I need the red, I want this thing to look like it's bursting out of the top. Why don't you just pay somebody to do this, man? Because you're going to do it for free. I want to add personal touches to everything, wow. especially the centerpieces. I, I, these things go for like $900 a piece. I, I built these, I priced it up. $21 a piece. I spent $200 on everything. This is easy. And cheap, Cheo. Don't forget about cheap. We can get these built just like anybody else, except that they're not going to be charging us four and $500 to do it. Look at that. Almost, almost all the way up, and it's just one bag. How does that look? Is that too wispy? Think we need some more? More in your centerpiece budget? Agreed. Cheo, I'm going to be covered in glitter for months. <laughs> That's fine. Of course it's fine for you. Well, I'm going to be covered in this stuff, too. It's like an... Anorexic centerpiece. What the hell is that supposed to be? It's supposed to be a centerpiece. Really? Wait for the vision. It'll all come together. I'm, I'm seeing done. the vision. Give me these, please. Right Seven. now, it's highly disappointing. Seriously, I look so ghetto, it's not even funny. Seriously? That's the idea. Man. Tight. Looks like a cheap burlesque show. Is there any other kind? That's better than half the basic flowers, calla lilies, and all that other fart that they use. Obviously, we need to sort it out. Now that you know how to do it, I don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. And I only bought kind of an exact amount, give or take one or two, so we really can't waste material. Or any of your budget. Put, put the pretty sparkle sticks in the sand, I get it. <laughs> we have 21 of these to do. Are you kidding me? No. Wow. You know what you need to do, just get it done. Ayan, you know what you need to do. Yeah, but you got glitter Perfect. Money, money, Look, money. guys, let's get it done, okay? If you can create something, that's better than something that you buy, and you can save money, it's a double bonus. I'm getting something that I like, I'm getting something I know Carla will love, and I'm not spending the money. I can put that towards other things in our wedding. The one and only element I got to plan for this whole wedding was entertainment. Yeah, which I'm still bummed about. Hmm? You would have loved what I had in mind. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I love it. awesome. <laughs> 
This is what I'm talking about, ladies. Like, how awesome would this be at the wedding? This Come is on. pretty incredible. <laughs> Very different from your typical wedding, right? Oh. I don't even know where to look. I know, there is way too much going on. And it's so perfect for you. Like, it's, this is yeah. perfect. We can have, I can have a juggler, I can have uh, some acrobats. Like, ladies, just imagine the pictures alone of these performers at the wedding. Have you ever been to a wedding where there's been circus performers? What I'm worried about is that it's too much. Because you no, don't want to take away agree. from, like, the actual event, right? The wedding itself. Oh, it'll just be, it'll be an addition to the event. It's the entertainment. How do you think Cheo will feel about this kind of entertainment? Cheo has nothing to do with this, though. That is, that is the fantastic part about this. He's planning the rest of the wedding. I have entertainment. This is my one thing. It looks like more than one thing to me. Hi. Hi. Are you Tatiana? Yes. Hi, Hi, I'm Carla. Nice to meet you. These are my friends. This is fantastic. Um, how much um, for each performer? Oh, it's, it's, you know, it's around $200. 200 for each performer. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much money did Cheo leave you in the budget for entertainment? $400. Oh, okay. So you I definitely can't do all of them. No. You can do two. Oh. Two. Two performers. Who's ever heard of a two-ring circus? Two? That's for, that's your budget. Okay, well, I mean, budgets, budgets can be broken a little bit. We can go a little over. It all looks so good, but I think you have to narrow it down. This should be a very easy decision. You only have $400, they're 200 a piece. You pick two. It's a tough choice and you're really indecisive. Well, we are getting the budget boost though, so I mean, that's, that's a good thing. We can take it out of there. Which ones are sort of drawing you in right now? Love the hula hooper. And now uh, the dancers are pretty good too. Oh, and I love the juggler. Oh, juggler, come on, a juggler at a wedding? You know what, we're gonna, I will go with three, um, but um, I, I just, I can't make a decision right now, so maybe I'll get back to you and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. I had some really cool ideas on how to infuse technology into our wedding. Cameras. <laughs> how cool is this? My name's David. Hi, David. I'm a wedding planner, but maybe not. I might be a spy. This might be my client, a groom, and I don't know why we're here, but I have to protect him because it's a spy store. My name's Shale. That's David. He's one of my groomsmen. I have a wedding coming up. I want to incorporate any and every video angle that I can with it. I want to broadcast it to my website. I'm going to have, I don't know, six, seven cameras okay. mounted behind the altar. I'm going to have ones in the arbor. I'm going to have ones in the tree. I'm going to have ones on my laptop. I'm going to... <laughs> we got glasses. I'm gonna have those fever. on my. I'm gonna have those on my. He has a fever. Maybe? We have to go. That he has a fever. Sick. That's just his techie brain working overtime, David. I want to be able to broadcast my wedding from multiple angles, live, and I'll just be basically transmitting the signal that to the website for people who can't make it to my wedding. Who are the like technical experts that are actually going to make all that happen? I don't mind taking on a tech project, man. We can get this done. Like, it doesn't take any time. We just. It doesn't take these. any time. Look, I'm gonna show you. Can we get these things, can we hook these up? It seems like a lot of work. Is it easy? Oh, very easy. See, oh, yeah. she's selling very it, of course. Easy. She's gonna say it's easy. I've done my research. Okay, fire it up, I, fire it up, yeah, fire it up, fire it up. Just, can I see that? Basically, anybody who can make it are literally right there at the wedding. How does Carla feel about being filmed at her wedding? Oh, come on, David. It's one of Cheo's oh-so-personal touches. Just tell me what you want, and we'll try to make that work. Realistically, yep. one of these. Which one? The camera that you're holding in your hand. Yeah, I might need two of those, actually. I'm saying four. Two glasses, for sure. Personal cam for me, definitely. What else can we get, really? Yeah, why don't we just get everything? If I could, I would. Yeah, but you Trust can't. Me. What is the price of these? 150 each. Yeah. This crazy... These are $200. Two of those is 200, 400, plus 700, and these? $200 each. And what, two of these? Two of these, for sure. And? 150. $1,250. You don't want to spend any money. That's where I'm saving on all the other things, so I can spend it on, like I said, where it counts, the stuff that's gonna make the wedding. So these are the small personal touches that I wanted to add that add that modern, untraditional, unconventional flair to our wedding. So we're going with these five cameras. I can't believe it, but yes. No, no, it wasn't a question. We're going with these five cameras. <gasps> I can't believe it, but yes. Perfect. Okay, I think we're good. Awesome. And we're gonna make every single other part of the wedding ourselves. <laughs> I'm gonna be sewing tablecloths, do you sew? Coming up. On flowers? You gotta have nice flowers. They're nice flowers. Would I have trusted Kip to select my wedding dress? I might have been wearing a kilt, 
but I think he would have done a pretty good job. He knows my taste, and he has pretty good taste, too. I don't know if I would have trusted myself to have chosen <laughs> Bright Carla has surrendered the planning of her wedding day to groom Chael. He's chosen to overload the day with technical toys and gadgets and underspend on the essentials, including his budget for the one item Carla gets to choose. Two? That's for, that's your budget. Okay, well, I mean, budgets, budgets can be broken a little bit. We can go a little over. It all looks so good, but I think you have to narrow it down. This should be a very easy decision. You only have $400. They're $200 a piece. You pick two. Will Cheo's spending priorities pull this couple apart, or will his bride Carla find his inventive vision endearing? There's some things that you want to do, okay? And there's other things that you have to do. Shopping for bridesmaids' dresses was one of those things I had to do. When are the girls coming? They're not. What do you mean, they're not? As in, I have control over the wedding, so I have to make this decision. Agreeably so, but you should still have the girls come up and take a look for their dresses. Like, I, I agree. Even your friends think this is a bad idea, Cheo. I gotta make an executive decision, so we have to do this. Help me pick a dress so we can kind of get in, get out. Carla's bridesmaids are clearly in good hands. So the, the wedding colors are what? Red and black, right? Red and black. $100 budget, roughly what we're looking for. Cheap! <laughs> I'm just looking for something simple, practical, and elegant that they can wear on other occasions. Let's worry about this occasion first. You go over there and we'll, we'll stay over here before you even go over there. See? That's black and red. That's black and red. <laughs> it was made to take off. <laughs> you know, removable. How much is it, though? Uh, $300. Yeah, not happening. Is the price tag removable? What about this? It's red, kind of. <laughs> That's dated, bro. You can't use that. I see you brought along the fashion police. Yeah, and it's 250 bucks. What about this? This is nice. Very nice, and vibrant. <laughs> you can wear it again. To go salsa dancing? What happened to simple and elegant? Personally, I know a few females would wear this to work, but that's okay. <laughs> On casual Friday? On casual Friday! <laughs> Here we go. Black, simple. You don't think that's too simple? No, it's, it's elegant, it's practical. I really like this one. Maybe Cheo didn't need any help after all. Look for something a little, with a little more pizzazz, you know, just... Mm. It's kind of plain, man. You don't think so? It's 100 bucks, dude. We're, this is perfect. Whatever you want to do, you do that. But just remember, one thing, we were never here. See? I may make an executive decision. We're going with this. Go, find a woman. I think I found a dress for the bridesmaids. It's black, so it'll look good on everyone. It's simple, so they can reuse it. And the price point, it's just awesome. I don't do dresses, but I definitely do practical. I was super excited to try on my dress and have alterations done with my sister Gina because it made everything seem so real. Okay, David, we're ready. Well, get out here, I'm dying. Okay. I gotta move this door. See, this dress is huge. Oh my god. You don't see you're not supposed to say anything. <laughs> oh my goodness, I see what you mean though. Oh my god. Wow. It does feel big. There's wow. Okay. How does it look? I can't say. Well, you can say if I look good or not. I mean, I know I look good, right? I can tell you this. We're actually going to give you the opportunity to see the dress, but. You can't do anything about it. You oh, can't, seriously? Seriously, you can't, but if you see it, you can't make a change, you can't alter a thing. But I can see it. But you can't change it. So if you don't like it, you have to live between now and the wedding day. Well, either way though, I mean, even if I don't see it, it's not gonna change, but I see what you mean. Oh, crap, you should see it. <sighs> It is incredible, Carla. Why did you even Easy tell me that, Easy with David? the descriptives. This, this dress embodies your whole personality. That's all I'm gonna say. So that means you, you think to, that you she shouldn't to. see it because you're comfortable that she'll like it on the day. Oh, man. I guess, I but if it was me, I'd wanna see it. Well, not everyone can be as brave as Carla. It, based on the feel, does it feel like the dress you thought you'd have? It feels amazing. The bottom is just so fluffy and feathery. I love it. Okay, Carla, what's your choice? See the dress or Go get changed. I mean, I kind of want to be surprised, but I kind of want to see it. I don't know. Oh, there'll be plenty of surprises on the day, Carla. No, I'm not. <sighs> we David wins. Oh. <laughs> you are so crazy, Carla. I would so be looking at this. But I've been told that before, Gina. You're crazy. <laughs> Let's Yay. have the man who actually made it make sure that it fits you perfectly, because especially if you're going to be that brave, we want to make sure 
Hits you like a glove. I know that people think I'm probably crazy for not looking, but I just want to be surprised. As much as I was looking forward to all the surprises, I was dying to know how Cheo was dealing with our money and our wedding. So I was totally ready when David called us in for a chat. We've made it this far, and everybody seems to be in one, one piece. Um, and we're just going to check some budget numbers. Now, because of the agreement you made, we can't give away any um, secrets, OK? I have really good news for you, though. The venue is under budget. What? Under budget. Interesting. Yeah. OK. How would you feel if I told you that the flowers are also under budget? Like, they're probably the, the least expensive line item for flowers I've ever worked with by a lot. Oh, my goodness. What? Saving money. On flowers? You gotta have nice flowers. They're nice flowers. Don't, don't, don't get the it way, wrong. The way that David said, it seems like you spent, like, nothing on them. I got flowers under budget, and they're beautiful. I don't think you can officially call them flowers. Next item is the bride's choice item, and that is the entertainment. And the entertainment were over. You had one thing to do, Four. one thing to do. You saved on the flowers. One item to manage. Exactly, I only had one item. I'm sorry, I had to go over. The budget that you gave me is just not realistic. You're gonna like it, it's gonna be great. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry, go on. Special Touches is our line item that is last on the list, and you are over, my friend. Special Touches? Right, Special Touches. What are Special Touches? Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to, Carla. All the things that make our wedding stand alone from all other weddings. I don't understand here. Like, I, I, I just don't feel like you have your priorities in check. You way underspent on the flowers, yet these Special Touches, you went over budget. I've only made calculated logical investments. Like, you don't see it now. Like, it looks like I'm spending too much here, not spending enough there. Just believe in the decisions I'm making. Trust in what I'm doing, and in the end, I'll see your smiling face, and I'll know that I've done my job right. You don't have to tell me anything, and I won't say I told you so. And we look forward to the most important day of your life so far. Coming up. Oh, my god. <laughs> Yes, I cried. I was emotional. When I first saw Sue walking down the aisle, I got emotional. I cried. Uh, she was very beautiful, but, uh, but it was wonderful. The day has finally arrived for our couple, Carla and Cheo, to tie the knot. Cheo's been in charge of planning the wedding and has geeked out on a techie theme. But all that high-tech spending left little in the budget for the remaining wedding elements. You had one thing to do. Four. One thing to do. Exactly. I only had one item. I'm sorry. I had to go over. The budget that you gave me is just not realistic. Will Carla regret relinquishing control of the wedding plans for the $5,000 budget boost? Or will she embrace Cheo's techie touches? The morning of the wedding was so hectic. I needed all hands on deck to organize everything to make it perfect for Carla. It was just like, go, go, go. I was so excited when David came to pick me up. I, I just couldn't wait to get married and finally see all of Cheo's surprises. I mean, come on, I've waited long enough. What do you think? Oh my goodness. Oh, look Yay. at the water and the trees. Oh, it's beautiful. It's the perfect day and I think, but it's up to you, we're in the perfect space. Oh. So this is where you're going to get married. This is a great start, this is awesome. He did okay? <laughs> yeah. So. Oh. What do you think? It's amazing. I know, it's amazing. Oh my God, in this like, day? Hello, beautiful here. It is beautiful. Check mark, one for one so oh, far. Yeah. Ready. Carla's dress is one of a kind, but will it win her over? Oh my God. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up no, on no, it. Oh no, my god. Do you love it? <laughs> I do. Oh my goodness. I wanna go touch it. Okay, here are your hands clean. Carla is getting a head start on the special touches. You happy happy proud of him? I am. I'm very proud of him. I'm so proud of him too. Yeah. I'm happy that you're happy, that's what I am. <laughs> so hair and makeup. Here we go. Okay. okay. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I don't need this right now. <laughs> you don't need this at all. Let's try it again. Okay. okay. One's on. Yes, that's what that's it should on. be, because it's programmed and set to watch. Monitor's on. Camera's set Camera's to on. Camera's on. Hi, Dean. How you doing? <laughs> Do you, Cheo, take this woman to be a lovely wedded wife? We're good here? We're good. OK, so let's, let's go get dressed. All right, so let's turn this stuff off and go get dressed. 
finishing touch. Looks great, Carla. David, give me that mirror. I am dying to see it. <gasps> Holy, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's just um, unbelievable. Very important. <laughs> gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna take that gorgeous head of yours and put it in a dress. Right. Thank you so much, Indeed. Marco. Right. Okay. See ya. Oh my gosh. How do you feel? <sighs> I feel amazing. This is this is like a ball gown. <laughs> it is a ball gown. You look like a movie star in a ball gown. Now, bridesmaids are coming. You ready? Yes, I'm. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what they look like. Okay. Ta da! It feels amazing. <laughs> wow. Looks like feathers, but not feathers. Yeah, look at you guys. Oh, you look so pretty. And we all look so you, hot. You, you, you. <laughs> you, you. So next up are the bouquets. And you remember that the bouquets weren't a huge line item, expense-wise. Yes. So um, just be prepared for that, and we'll see what you think. So these are the bouquets. <laughs> They're twisted pipe cleaners with candy jelly beans. Oh <laughs> Nothing says wedding like pipe cleaners and jelly beans. No one can spend fifty dollars, and that those are as beautiful as they are. Y your bouquet didn't leave a lot of expense left. Okay. <laughs> it's awesome. like a crazier version of theirs. <laughs> this is just fantastic. Yay, <laughs> Cheo, you're doing so well. <laughs> okay, found it. Okay. Um, Carla's here. What does she think? Or how is she? How is She's good. <laughs> She's good. Okay, I'm The right. reveals, uh, you did your best. Like, you did the very best you could in, in the venue, you did the best you could in the dress. Does she like the dress? You did your best. That's all I can say, and, and we'll just... She loved it all! She was just so excited! <laughs> she can't even stay in her own skin. She's uh, so happy. Like, there was not a single thing you did that she didn't like. Uh, someone's got my camera? Basically, as I walk around, I kind of keep it conspicuous, so I can put it on the website after and have everybody just oh, okay. I see, what saying, see yeah. what I saw and experience what I experienced. We'll see if Carla likes this angle of yours. Let's go. You heard about these glasses that you're going to wear? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a little lesson in them. Right before it starts, because they don't record a lot of film, you're going to push the button that's further away from the glasses, and then you push the one to start the recording. Start cool? Okay, cool. Amazing. Okay. Let's awesome. get married. Let's get married. Okay. Seeing Carla walk down the aisle for the first time was surreal. It really was surreal just to walk down the aisle and know that I'm going to the end and um, I'm going to be married. Bye. <laughs> I, Carla, take you, Cheo, to be my husband and friend for life. I promise to love and support you. Even when I don't agree. Even when I don't agree. With you buying new electronic gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> with you buying new electronic gadgets. I, Cheo, take you, Carla. To be my wife and friend for life. To be my wife and friend for life. I promise to get eight hours sleep. I promise to get eight hours sleep. At, at least three times a week. At least three times a week. <laughs> It's my honor to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Leach. Give them a hand. Coming up. <laughs> Congratulations, Teo. It's good. When I was walking down the aisle uh, on our wedding day, I looked ahead up at Jeff, and I was sort of nervous. I was kind of like, yikes, I'm getting married. Our bride and groom have finally exchanged their vows, and it looks like Cheo has succeeded in putting together a personal and picturesque ceremony for his bride, Carla. I promise to love and support you, even when I don't agree. With you buying new electronic gadgets. <laughs> With you buying a new electronic gadgets. Can Carla find enough heart in her reception to honor her vow to accept Cheo's gadgets? Or will his techie toys be a deal breaker? Showing Carla everything was amazing. Like, a huge weight had been lifted off my shoulders. Welcome <laughs> to Carla and Cheo's wedding. <laughs> Enter this way. <laughs> Well, you can only go through it on your own oh in that dress, my miss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, my God. 
Hopefully, one person can do it. That's a booster bot. Booster bot. <laughs> <laughs> and then all those little minions over here. <laughs> so crazy, but amazing. <laughs> The, the robots are in love, just <laughs> like us. <laughs> I can't believe the work you put into this. It's amazing. You like it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, let's move over here. <gasps> it's gorgeous. The whole room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you did okay, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think she's happy. Yeah. I think she is. On a scale of one to ten? Oh, 40. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a rave review. I guess robots have hearts, too. We worked really hard. <laughs> I, I have a vision did. up here. Seeing it come together is beyond spectacular. <laughs> no, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Cheo. It's good. Cheo wanted circuits, and now he gets the circus. What is this? This is the entertainment. <laughs> Jugglers and acrobats. <laughs> Uh, they're gonna lead us in right now, and uh, this is just the beginning of the night. There's gonna be so much more entertainment. Well, Cheo, the consensus is that you did a wacky yet wonderful job. It looks like you knew what you were doing after all. And in the end, it was worth Carla giving up control for the extra $5,000. My wedding day was fantastic. It, we couldn't ask for anything more. The weather was beautiful. Everything was beautiful. Cheo did a absolutely amazing job. Yeah, and it was definitely worth every penny spent. I mean, I couldn't ask for more. Beautiful weather, beautiful wife, and uh, everything... Wife. <laughs> everything that I worked out, uh, Worked out, it worked out, it was great. Yeah, you did great. Thank you. Cheo may have won Carla's heart, but at what cost? Did his budget blow a fuse, or did he push all the right buttons? The original budget we gave David was $22,000, and with the additional $5,000 that we got, total budget worked out to be $27,000. I was very impressed with Cheo's pipe cleaner bouquets as well as the hosiery boutonnieres. The total cost was only $60. Red glitter hearts totally enhanced the cake. The total cost was $500. My entertainment was worth every penny. The guests loved all the different acts. The total cost was $600. The custom dress looked absolutely phenomenal, and it turned out better than even I expected. And since labor was a gift, I only had to pay for the materials, which only cost me $850. The decor looked awesome and was totally off the wall. I loved it, including centerpieces, linens, and all of the robot touches. It came to $1,100. Working with David was a blast, and he's very insightful and funny. His fee was $2,200. The venue was gorgeous, and it was just perfect for our wedding. Including food and alcohol, it came to $11,200. Miscellaneous costs, including DJ, photography, my tech gadgets, bridesmaids' dresses, and Carl's hair and makeup, came to $8,474. What we actually spent on the wedding was $24,984. So even with the budget boost, we were still under budget by $2,016. Not bad, huh? Yeah. I told you I can do it and bring it under budget. Yeah, you did a brilliant job, but so we have some money left over, right? So where are you taking me? Uh, to the bank because we're going to deposit that in our savings account. No. Oh. The wedding went live. The horns have been blown. And the dessert has been enjoyed. The only question left is, did our beautifully dressed bride get caught up in the moment? <laughs> I got an engagement ring. I did, because if I got something for Alexa to show that she's off the market. You needed one, too. That I, need, that I was off the market, so that nobody, I was hers and she's mine. Yeah, he's all mine. I didn't want diamonds for my engagement ring. Whew. I am a lucky man. Yes, you are, darling. Yes, it didn't stop you from wanting them after, though. 